the Beatitudes are a really important part of the sermon for understanding the language of the sermon, as we found out yesterday with the word makarios. Today we look at another important word to the Beatitudes, dikaiosune. We would normally translate it as righteousness. So let's journey together and understand what it's about. The meaning of dikaiosune in the Gospel of Matthew is a very much debated topic. There are those who will argue that righteousness in the Gospel of Matthew is something that is imputed, something that is given by God to the believer without them doing anything to deserve it. This definition runs into issues, however, within Matthew's Gospel. Matthew has a lot of emphasis on good works and a righteousness that is rooted in works. We find this in phrases such as, let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works, a verse from the Sermon on the Mount that we'll be looking at. And there is definitely a level of righteousness in the Sermon on the Mount that is rooted in concrete actions, that is rooted in the work of justice. And this is where the second camp comes in. So, we have these two camps, one that righteousness is something that comes from God and one that righteousness is something that comes from the believer. I want you to put that argument away for now. Why? Because those arguments and those thoughts you might have don't really fit the context of the sermon very well. They don't really fit it as an invitation to flourishing, a reflection on virtue and what it means to flourish and grow in the kingdom of God. You see, Matthew has a different idea of righteousness. Matthew is going to talk about a greater righteousness, a greater righteousness that exceeds that of the scribes and the Pharisees. And he's going to invite us to participate in it. He's going to invite us to flourish in it. To understand this idea of greater righteousness, we have to dive into the context of the sermon a little more. So within wisdom and virtue traditions, there was this great idea of teleos, this idea of maturity, this idea of growing into a wholeness, a completeness. And so there's this idea in the Sermon on the Mount of a goal we're working towards, a wholeness, a completeness. And, and it's not just a wholeness, a completeness that is about one aspect. Do you do good works? Or does God see you as good? It's about a, a righteousness that wraps and involves the whole person, because teleos is a maturity about the whole being. Emotions, intellect, will, strength, physical, the whole lot. And this matches up really well with the second context we find in the sermon, which is the great story of Israel and the people of God, which through the work of Christ has become about pursuing that day that coming of Jesus, when all will be made whole, complete, and right. It will be a greater righteousness, greater than we experience even now here on earth. And it's in this kind of context, this context of looking, looking for maturity, looking for completeness, looking for wholeness, that we find this word dikaya sune used. So when Matthew uses this word in the Beatitudes and the Sermon, well, he's not just saying, do the good thing or do the right thing. Nor is he saying that this is something just given to you by God. This is something that we are being invited to pursue in order to flourish. We're being invited to pursue that wholeness, that completeness. We're being invited to pursue that day of wholeness and completeness in Jesus. Dikaiosune, in the Sermon on the Mount, is an invitation to flourish, 
through a way of living that accords with God's nature, God's will, and God's coming kingdom with our whole purpose, with our whole person, with our whole strength, with our whole mind, with our whole body, with our whole heart. This is Dikaiosune in the Sermon on the Mount.